This video is brought to you by Micron, the manufacturer of the world's most advanced DRAM technology. So you're looking to buy a new smartphone. You're perusing a website, comparing different models and configurations, looking for the perfect device to match your needs. What specs should you pay attention to? What upgrades should you consider? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. And over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. And most importantly, I help you find the right gadget to match your needs. And in this video, instead of talking about the latest new smartphone, I'm going to talk about your smartphone's unsung hero. If you watch this channel, you'll know I'm not a big fan of spec sheets, and that's because great specs don't always mean the best experience. Now, I'm not saying that specs aren't important, they are. And all the magical things that you get to do on your smartphone today require super specs under the hood. Of course, one of the most talked about specs on a smartphone is its processor. System on a chip, or SOC. But did you know that just as important is the internal memory and storage that is embedded on your smartphone? DRAM, Dynamic Random Access Memory, or RAM for short. It's the memory that's permanently located in your smartphone. Every app that you open, game that you play, videos that you capture, and every photo you snap on your phone requires super fast and responsive RAM to get the job done. When you use 5G and AI applications on your smartphone, it's actually RAM that's the key to making these experiences possible. And all of this computing power requires some actual power. LP DRAM specifically, or low power DRAM, which is inside our smartphones. Which means, whenever used, this component won't drain your battery as fast. LP DDR is also unique because of its low power consumption. That means you can use all your favorite apps and not have to worry about draining your battery halfway through the day. Let's visualize that in my kitchen. My spices are permanently stored in this spice drawer. It takes roughly two seconds to take them out. Now, some spices, however, like salt and pepper, I want quick and easy access to. So I keep these on my countertop instead, where it takes less than a second to reach them. In this example, my spice drawer is like my smartphone's internal storage, while my countertop is like my smartphone's RAM. Now, before I start cooking, what I like to do is open up my spice drawer, take out all the spices that I plan on using, and then put them all on my counter so that all of them are a quick reach away. That way, I can save time and get things done quickly. Now, that's exactly what your smartphone does every time it performs a task, be it launching an app, recording a 4K video, or doing something AI related. Like using the search function to identify a plant from a photo or transcribing a speech in real time. For example, on the new Pixel 7 Pro, I can erase these people out of a photo. The phone moves the photo data out of storage from my cupboard to my counter into DRAM so it can identify and erase all these people quickly. When the task is done, all this data is put back into storage. Now, the more data rich and complex the task, the more internal memory or DRAM your smartphone demands. Let's return to our kitchen analogy. Say I'm whipping up a meal today. I take all my ingredients and kitchen equipment out of storage, i.e. my cupboards and my drawers, and onto the kitchen counter for easy access. Like any New Yorker will tell you, counter space is so valuable, and having more DRAM is like having more counter space. So, you already don't have a lot to work with. Let's say this is about four gigabytes of RAM. But now, say I was to add my entire kitchen island. We could go from four gigabytes to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now I have space for all my ingredients and my cooking tools. 
be that large files like my large chopping board or many different ingredients and tools for different tasks that sort of need to happen at the same time. Chopping board and veggies for the sauce dough hooks and mixing bowls for the pasta. Any cook will tell you that having more space to work with means a more efficient cooking or baking experience. Simply put, more RAM inside of your smartphone improves your experience. Now, RAM size is only part of the story. There's also bandwidth, and I'll try to come back to my kitchen analogy later. Think of 100 cars getting from point A to point B. All will get there faster if you had two lanes of a highway instead of one. Or think about my watering pot. It will fill up faster if I use the faucet over my bathtub because it has a bigger spout versus the one in my kitchen. I guess having a helper in the kitchen is like increasing bandwidth, especially when you have a lot of tasks that need to get done at the same time. Someone chopping them for you while you do something else is a big help. That's bandwidth. Okay, so let's talk about what that means in real world use. You know when you have to wait a bit for things to load in the background whenever you're launching a game on your smartphone? The internal memory on your smartphone is being leaned on heavily to boost and launch your game. With higher capacity and super fast DRAM speeds, you will notice a difference in boot and load times and generally a more seamless user experience. When you leave the game open and go back to it, the next time you won't have to wait as long. It will be almost instant. That's because the game data is temporarily stored on the DRAM. Now, here's another example. Have you ever composed a post on Instagram and then got distracted, maybe opened Twitter, answered a call, played a game, or sent some emails, only to come back and find your draft gone? That means your smartphone didn't have enough RAM to process all of the tasks that you were trying to do at the same time. So what it did was drop or close some of the apps that you weren't using so that it could prioritize the task at hand. It's pretty amazing all the things that you can do on a smartphone these days and how memory is the conduit to make our 5G and AI smartphone experiences smooth and seamless. The Galaxy S22 series, for example, can even cut out strands of hair from a photo for these awesome portrait shots. All of this requires AI in your smartphone to identify your subject as well as the background. Oftentimes in videos, I just refer to this as software magic. But what we don't say is that RAM is a magician. Now these days, as camera sensors get larger, the size of files and data that needs to be transferred and processed keeps getting larger. So it's important also that RAM on your smartphone is equipped with plenty of bandwidth so that our smartphone can perform that sort of magic in the background while we sit back and enjoy everything they can do. Imagine recording an 8K video. Those multiple highways or increased bandwidth is what's allowing your phone to perform all that magic in the background. And we don't even have to think about it. That's what great tech is supposed to do after all. But it's nice to sometimes from time to time pause and appreciate how all of this is achieved. Depending on which smartphone you're shopping for, sometimes we'll be given the option to not only pick storage, but also how much RAM comes with your smartphone. For example, the new OnePlus 10T comes in two configurations, one with eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage, and the other with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. So how much DRAM or RAM do you really need? The sweet spot for Android smartphones is probably eight gigabytes, especially if you're the kind of person who plans on holding onto their phone for three to five years, maybe more. Because the demands of the operating system and apps increase every year, as more features and richer 5G and AI experiences are introduced. Apart from that, another spec that's often thrown around is the version of internal RAM. Now, if you dive in deeper to DRAM or RAM specs, you'll find that they have different version numbers sometimes. These days, most smartphones utilize either LPDDR4 or LPDDR5. Now, the latest and greatest of them all is LPDDR5X, which delivers speeds of up to 8.533 gigabytes per second, a performance boost that's up to 30 3% faster, a 24% power efficiency improvement, 
and up to a 50% increase in data access speeds. So in a way, it's adding more lanes for more cars and increasing the speed limit. A DRAM chip is embedded in your phone and it looks like this. And just like SOCs, there are many different companies that manufacture them. One of the largest memory manufacturers in the world is Micron, the sponsor of today's video. Chances are Micron DRAM and storage are in your smartphone today, and they continue to lead the charge, developing innovations that will power the smartphones of the future and that will fuel 5G and AI user experiences. And that was our video. Hopefully, if you watched it all the way through, you'll leave with a better understanding and appreciation of how your smartphone works and how DRAM plays such an important role in the overall experience and how it enables a lot of the cool 5G and AI features that we enjoy today. Before we go, I'd like to thank Micron for sponsoring this video and for helping us tell the story of the smartphone's unsung hero.